everybody, it's Kristen from Glitter and Glue, and this is my first video of 2012. So I guess I want to start off by wishing everybody a very happy new year. I hope that this year is full of creativity and lots of bling for you guys. So that takes me to today's project. A little blinged out photo that I put up on my Facebook and Twitter last week and I got a lot of response from you guys. A lot of people wrote me asking exactly how I made it and requested that I make a video. So this video is for you guys. Um, I started off because I went downtown to pick up materials for a fun DIY event that I'm having and I needed lots and lots of rhinestones. Um, so I started by picking up four yards of um, rhinestone chain from downtown. You can see I have like all this like, long, luxurious, fancy chain. And um, it's really, really, really simple just to make this necklace. And uh, I, I did it quickly um, because I was wearing a sweatshirt and I needed to dress it up before I left the house um, running a bunch of errands because who wears a sweatshirt all day? But um, I figured a rhinestone necklace on top of it would totally um, negate the fact that I look like a scrub. So anyway, um, I started off by taking my chain, grabbing it in my hand, and just sort of wrapping it around um, my hand, making it about a foot long. And, and this part's kind of at your discretion. You can make it as long as you want, but basically once you wrap it, it's going to fit around your neck like this. So if you want it to like cover all of your neck or if you want it to be shorter, it really is like up to your discretion, like whatever you like. And you're just going to continue to wrap this chain all the way around. And you're probably thinking like, whoa, four yards of chain is probably really expensive. And you're right, because Depending upon the chain, I mean, this can average anywhere from $9 to, I did pick up some that was $18 a yard, just depending upon the rhinestones and stuff. But here's the deal. There's a lot of DIY projects out there that are kind of glitzy and fun, and the materials may be, lot, um, may be kind of expensive, but there's ways you can get around that. I have a couple of tips. First of all, I'm sure like if you live in a city like me, Los Angeles or New York or Houston or Dallas or any place like that, your town has like a fashion supply jewelry section where you can go to find relatively inexpensive um, items. I suggest that you head down there first. You make friends with these people, you hit up the boutiques, they know your face, they're a lot more willing to work with you. My suggestion is that you also go on an off day. Don't go on like a Saturday or Sunday if you can help it. Try and go in the middle of the week, maybe one day after work if you can you know, leave a little bit early and you need to stop by there. They're way more eager to make a deal with you on a day where they haven't had tons of foot traffic and haven't made lots of cash. So you know, if you go on a Tuesday, you're probably gonna get a better deal than if you go on a Saturday. They don't wanna cut a deal with you on that day because everybody's shopping, they don't need to. Um, which brings me to number two, make sure that you bring cash. They are also more willing to make a deal with you if you have cash. And I'm sure that's some kind of like tax fraud situation they have going on um, because they probably don't report the stuff that they make in cash, but guess what? That's not my problem. My third suggestion is that you shop around. Like I said, I was spotting the same chain ranging in price anywhere from $6 to $18. Um, I probably visited about like eight boutiques before I finally found this chain um, at a good price. And like I said, um, I bought I, I bought a bunch. I bought very, you know lots of yards of this. Um, I paid in cash. So uh, she was willing to cut me a deal. So I ended up getting all of this for just forty dollars, which is um, a big big deal. It's it's a lot and it's a good price. So. Once you've finished wrapping it all the way around, as you can see, I've wrapped the chain all the way around my hand. It's now important that you move it onto a flat surface um, because it's going to be easier to attach the ribbon when it's on a flat surface. So, I'm just going to put it on a flat surface. Once you've moved your necklace to the flat surface, just make sure that you keep it in that very round shape, the, the O. And then you take your ribbon, cut off about two feet of ribbon, and then slide it underneath the group 
fold it in half first and then slide it underneath your chain so that it sticks out like that with a, a circular open and then take your two loose ends and slide it through the hole, pull it tight, and then repeat on the other side. Again, fold it in half, slide it underneath your necklace, Slide it through and pull it tight. Very easy. So then you have your necklace. And there you go. Once you've added your ribbon, then you have a brand new rhinestone blinged out statement necklace. And it's really easy. From here you can just tie it around your neck in a nice bow. I can do this with my hair. And there you go, you can tie it around your neck and you have a brand new statement necklace which dresses up that Rigel sweatshirt that you may be walking around town running all your errands in. Trust me, it works. Um, the other great thing about this project too is that it just doesn't have to be rhinestone chain. You could go and get regular chain or if you have any long um, necklaces in your jewelry box like I did, I actually had this long, here I'll show you guys this long um, metallic curl necklace and I did the same thing with it except I used purple ribbon just because I like the contrast and um, it's a necklace that I never wore but now I will wear it again because you know I breathe new life into it. It's easy, it's quick and it's very very chic. So I hope you guys can check it out and for more DIY tutorials don't forget Log on to glitterandglue.com. You can follow me on all the social media. There's the Facebook, there's the Twitter. Oh, and something special. Um, make sure you check out the blog because after I post this video underneath it, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this really cool home DIY um, that'll really help you keep your necklaces organized with things I picked up at the hardware store. So, mm, little something something for you guys. So don't forget, check it out, glitterandglue.com. And until next time, bye.